The country's unlock phase has begun, but the fight against coronavirus isn't over yet. The cases are rising, so please stay at home. And while you're at home, the best way to pass your time is to catch up on some good news all around the world. So here's your weekly dose of positive, wholesome, non-negative, not-for-profit, legitimate headlines. Well, you get the point. The Prime Minister this week shared an important information about the Asiatic lions in the Gir forest. He revealed that the population of the majestic Asiatic lion living in the Gujarat's Gir forest is up by 29%, which puts the population of the Gir lions to about 674, according to the forest department. The Prime Minister credited community participation along with an emphasis on technology, wildlife healthcare and proper management of the habitat along with the steps taken to minimize human to lion conflict as the reasons for the increase in the population. Everyone knows that the small and independent businesses have been one of the hardest hit groups during the lockdown. If you are looking to help, this piece of good news is just for you. In South London, independent traders are being given lifeline through online raffles organized by two community groups. The way this works is that local businesses offer their goods and services in terms of prizes in the raffle and the ticket sales cover the cost of these prizes. The low price points of the raffle tickets, which are as low as £1, allow the residents to support businesses in whatever extent they can. And by doing this, they have managed to raise thousands of pounds for local shops, salons and pubs. Throughout the whole series, Kerala has been the source of several good news stories and that is exactly where we'll be going today. Sridhanya Suresh, the first tribal woman from Kerala who cracked the civil services exam, took charge as the assistant collector last week. Not only this, but the distribution area has gone up by 36% geographically. In 2018, she had claimed the honour of becoming the first woman from the tribal community of Kerala to crack the civil services exam. More power to her and to all the women who are seeking to emulate her. The government has given the solar power sector in India a huge boost. This announcement of funding will enable 2 million farmers to invest in irrigation pumps powered by solar photovoltaic rays. Since this will be connected to a grid, it will also allow farmers to sell clean electricity when it's not in use, thereby providing additional revenue. Also, these pumps will be replacing diesel-powered versions, which we all know are harmful and pollute the environment. This provides farmers an extra source of income along with a reliable water supply, at the same time keeping a control on carbon emissions. America seems to be taking tangible action when it comes to the Black Lives Matter movement. The Louisville Metro Council has voted unanimously to ban no-knock warrants. The legislation was titled Breonna's Law in honour of the woman who died due to a raid in her home this year. This legislation requires the police to wear body cameras while serving a warrant and to switch on these cameras five minutes before doing the act. It is great to see police reforms being passed so quickly and it will surely help make the police more accountable for their actions. Well, that's it for this week, folks. If you know of any other positive headlines that you think we've missed out on, please put them in the comment section below. Also, do share this with as many people as possible because everyone can do with a little positivity right now. I'm going to go wash my hands again. Stay safe, stay clean and watch out for another episode of Good News with Binge Daily every Monday. Ashna out! Thanks for watching Binge Daily. Be sure to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then enable notifications with the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos.